So I got this notification on TikTok. I'm on TikTok now, by the way. Sean Baker, MD, mentioned me in a video. Sean Baker is one of the carnivore doctors, recommends a whole lot of meat, saturated fat is fine, LDL doesn't matter, that sort of thing. I've been vegan for 14 years and I would not say I feel amazing. In fact, there are several little ailments that have popped up since going vegan. Okay, so this is the video where I basically say like, vegan is not a, a cure-all, you're still going to age, you're still gonna have gray hair, crow's feet, little aches and pains, you know. Gray hair, crow's feet, my cheeks, Cheeks are not as full as they once were. Knee pain. My right hip just hurts now. My hip flexor hurts on and off. I forgot about the right hip thing because I did this, it's been like several months, I think, since I did. Oh yeah, my hair is noticeably shorter. My right hip's been fine, so I don't know what that was. But man, like getting into the car, oh, oh, that sucked. I didn't even notice him in the bottom. <laughs> is that just like how self-centered I am? I'm just watching myself. <laughs> Okay, yeah, no, he's in the bottom. I think eating a bunch of meat or something, you can't really see it. Thank you. It's really disgusting. I would rather not see that. The description says, I wonder if she'd feel the same if she tried a carnivore diet. Oh my lord. Yes, I'm sure a carnivore diet would get rid of my crow's feet and my gray hair. <laughs> maybe a vegan diet did all of this, or maybe I was in my early 20s when I went vegan and I am now in my mid-30s with three young children. I feel and look older because I am older. Turns out veganism does not keep you from aging. I was hoping there'd be something more to it than that. He'd be responding to something I said, but I guess this is just what he does. He just sits and eats and then puts something in the description. I mean, quality content. So I'm gonna look at the comments. I'm sure they're wonderful. I'm sure everyone thinks I'm beautiful and glowing and a perfect example of a healthy vegan. She's in denial. Meat vegan? Like, that's not even clever. What is that? I was vegan for five years. Rugby trainer convinced me. My hair started falling out and not in a normal way. I've been carnivore. Five months. Feel great. Ask someone who's been eating only fruit how great they feel after five months right? I mean, it's it's meaningless. And we can't forget about the countless people who didn't make it five months or even one month. And that goes for carnivore diet. It goes for a raw vegan fruitarian diet, right? I'm trying to think of like the the extreme opposite of carnivore, although I would argue carnivore is even more extreme than like a fruitarian diet. Point is like when Freely was popular and 30 bananas a day, raw till four, how many people quit? before a month, after a week, you know, went, oh no, this is terrible. I feel bad. This is way too hard. Same for carnivore. How many people try it for a few days and go, oh, oh no, or do it for a bit, maybe even a few months and feel terrible. It's survivorship bias, right? When we look at people who are part of a group, successful people, and we assume that they represent the whole of the group or even just the average, that the average person who tries to eat a carnivore diet will be successful. That's obviously not true. What we're getting with Sean Bay and who's the other popular doctor and the few others, they're anecdotes. Just like Freely is an anecdote for the fruitarian diet. And even worse, we can't necessarily trust them. I'm not saying that they're lying, but they certainly have an incentive to, right? All of these people are making money off of the carnivore diet, the Rotel 4 high fruit whatever diet. They're incentivized to say, hey, I'm healthy because of this diet I'm selling and you can too. We want diets that will last long term, right? I mean, look, if you want to do some sort of fad diet to expedite the process and lose weight, I know some people do that. They do like cleanses, right? Or a little juice fast or whatever, or they cut out sugar for a whole month, right? They do something to kind of jumpstart the process. It feels wrong to me. It feels wrong to a lot of other people too, because why would you start something that you're not going to continue? Wouldn't you want to start with something that you're going to maintain? But obviously it works for some people. But doing a severe elimination diet, which is what a carnivore diet is, for five months, why? Mid-30s should not feel that way, not even mid-40s. Try going carnivore for 90 days and report back. It'll change your life. Just to be clear, like I know I complain a lot because that's just kind of how I am. I'm a half empty type of person, I guess. Half empty, glass half empty type of person. So that's how I am. But really, I feel really good most of the time. Like I don't have any pains right now. Okay, now my ribs still hurt. <laughs> I bruised them coughing from a cold about a month, month and a half ago. So they are still healing. But other than that, like my back's good. No right hip pain, no hip flexor pain. 
no knee pain. I think I look pretty good. I think I look like my age, maybe a little younger. I'm able to keep up with my kids when my seven-year-old says, hey, let's race and go, go really fast. Like I can do it. You know, that's, I don't know. It's pretty good. Try carnivore for 30 days and compare. <laughs> What is this? Like, it really is just the opposite of raw vegan, right? It's the same kind of stuff. Eat 30 bananas a day for 30 days and compare. The body doesn't age that fast unless it's not getting what it needs. I'm in my 40s, have arthritis since a teen, and I'm in better shape. Again, raw vegan, you know, you're not eating the uh, species appropriate diet. That's why you're aging. That's why you don't feel perfect all the time. Like, I'm laughing, but it really is a shitty thing to tell people. And I'm not, I'm not saying these people are being shitty. Like, they have bought the con, you know? They have bought into all of this. But the truth is, there's no diet that is going to cure all of your ills and keep you from getting sick. Look at the people who were perfectly healthy before COVID and now have long COVID and can't do half of the things they used to do. I remember reading about a doctor who can no longer practice because he's just so fatigued all of the time. Yeah, I'm sure an all-meat diet will help him. Why not switch to see if you get better? This is where it gets annoying when people paint it as like vegan versus carnivore, when really it's vegan versus carnism. Carnism is a term I believe Melanie Joy, Dr. Melanie Joy came up with rather than using meat eater or carnivore because that just describes what a person eats, whereas veganism is an ethical practice. It's a philosophy. The opposite of that would be carnism, the belief that eating animals is okay. I know some people don't like that term. I really like it. I don't know how helpful it actually is. I don't know. But um, when I see stuff like this, I really appreciate that there is a term like carnism because veganism and carnivore, they're not opposites. Carnivore is just some elimination diet that people think is good for you long term, kind of. I mean, it seems like most of the carnivore doctors don't just promote meat and certain other animal products. They also eat some plant matter as well, and they seem to eat more of it the longer they are carnivore. Hmm, wonder why. I'm pretty sure it's Sean Baker who said that like berries are okay. I just read a really great article from Jenny Messina. I think she went to a dinner or something for the holidays with family and there was a member who's doing carnivore and she just talked about how like ridiculous that is in particular. The idea that eating even a little bit of plant matter is bad for you is just so stupid. The carnivore fat is a whole different thing. It's different because it's such nonsense and so offensive. It's not just that it causes more animal suffering and environmental harm than the average meat containing diet. And it's not just that it's highly doubtful that such a diet can support health over the long term. It's the fact that it is ludicrous to believe that a few bites of walnuts or broccoli or raspberries will ruin your health or that you can't have even one meal that doesn't include meat. Couldn't you say the same thing about people who refuse for health reasons to eat even one bite of animal food? And the answer is yes, I would indeed say that. Allergies aside, the idea that certain foods are so dangerous that they should never be consumed falls squarely within the realm of pseudoscience, not evidence-based nutrition. And we should be careful not to let vegan diets slip into the same world of pseudoscience that carnivore diets inhabit. And again, I'm laughing, but like it's sucking a lot of people in and it's so much worse than veganism doing that, right? There are people promoting veganism in a way that I really disagree with, right? Promoting it as this cure-all and roping people in. And that's bad, but at least people are probably eating a somewhat healthy diet, right? Even if they're eating mostly fruits and vegetables, it's certainly healthier than all or mostly meat. And also they're hurting fewer sentient beings. Whereas with the carnivore diet, oh my God, it's just terrible for everyone. Point is, why not switch to see if you get better? Because I'm an ethical vegan, because I don't believe that's an ethical way to eat, an ethical way to to live my life. Even if I thought it would get rid of my crow's feet and fill in my cheeks and get rid of my gray hair and my little aches and pains, you know, sometimes I have knee pain, whatever. Even if I thought it would get rid of that, even if I thought it would make me healthier, I would not eat a carnivore diet. I know I can be healthy, perfectly healthy, even slightly above average healthy, eating just a basic balanced vegan diet. Why? Why would I go to a diet that is 20 times more harmful for animals and the planet, even if it were better for me? To me, that is just incredibly selfish and I don't want to live my life that way. And luckily it's not better. <laughs> it's worse for us as well. Like it's just, it's a terrible diet. I'm really sad that so many people are being roped into it. I don't think it's going to last forever. We see diet fads come and go. This is going to be one of those that goes as well. And look, most people don't follow this. Just to be clear, I know it seems like everyone's doing carnivore. Most people are not following following a carnivore diet. Most people know that's insane. Exactly why most of us are carnivore, because you shouldn't be an old lady in your 30s. <laughs> what? 
kids. Her poor kids. She's probably raising them vegan too. I am. And they're very healthy. My doctor is very happy. My non-vegan doctor is very happy with their health, their development, all three of them. Did you not have surgery recently? You're certainly aging too. We all grow old, all get ill sometimes. So I guess Sean Baker had surgery recently. Mm. Vegans always look like they have some terminal illness. Okay, this is what I was waiting for. I was actually pretty surprised. There wasn't much about my looks, anything about my looks in these comments so far. So like, well done guys. I thought that was gonna be the first thing I see. Like, oh, she's so pale. I'm so pale. I mean, what do you even say to that? People just believe what they want to believe. They see what they want to see. And they've probably never actually seen terminal illness. She looks closer to 50. <laughs> say what you will about my looks, but I do not look 50. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Shoot, just turned 47 and don't have these issues. I was also in the military. Okay, good for you. Maybe you have good genes. In a related thing, I just saw a TikTok from a guy who says he's 50 and he's like, look how great I look. It's because I'm vegan. And like, that's just as obnoxious. There's some evidence that eating foods with beta carotene and more fiber and whatnot can help you look more youthful, but that doesn't mean how you look is because of your diet and every single part of you, like he has no gray hair supposedly and doesn't dye his hair and that's because of the diet. Like, don't do that. I could say to you guys, hey, my skin is so great because of my vegan diet, right? Like you don't know what I looked like before I went vegan. In truth, my skin has always been pretty nice. Actually, we were in the mall the other day and the people in the middle, in the middle little booth things trying to hand you shit and this guy was trying to give me something and I was like, no, no, thank you. And he was like, oh, you're, what's your secret? Your skin. And I was like, oh, <laughs> jeans. Actually, I think I said, oh, I'm just lucky. Yeah, I could promote veganism that way. Hey, look what it does for my skin. But that's just, it's just my jeans. No matter what I eat, I very rarely get pimples. Okay, so he does a lot of these where he's just eating steak and watching other people's videos like whatever who cares and it's tiktok anyway like i don't i don't think it's bad but i don't know i'd feel pretty lazy doing that and also it's just it's just sad looking he just has a cutting board and a huge piece of steak and that's what he's eating this is making me want to go fruitarian again <laughs> anyway thank you for watching everybody please like and subscribe hit the bell thank you so much to my members and patrons at patreon.com slash unnatural vegan I do post two exclusive videos there a month for tier two members and patrons. The second of which is a controversial topic. I will have that one up for February in the next couple of weeks or so. And my merch sale is still going on until the end of February. So check that out if you're interested. Thanks. Bye.